Hello, this is Shane Ross with a quick Final Cut Pro tip. Now one thing I like to talk about today are transitions. Now there are lots of transitions that come with Final Cut Pro and a few that you can buy with plugins and they are pretty cool. But one thing I found is that there are several filters that I just love and I would love to use those filters as transitions. Now how do you do that? Well, I would like to show you how to do that. What I have here are two clips. This clip is of my kids eating ice cream and I want to transition to one of the kids on the swing. That's Justice right there. And I want to do it with this really cool filter that I found. Video filters down here under Glow. In Glow there's this great thing called Light Rays. I'm just going to drag this down here and show you what it does. It kind of blows the image out like that and I find that that's really cool and I think it'll make a really cool transition. But how do I go about doing this? Okay, First let's undo this. Well, I know that I'd like the transition to be kind of a quick one, so maybe a 20 frame transition. So what I need to do is park my playhead between these two clips and then back up 10 frames, minus 10, enter. And then using my razor tool, I'll razor that location. And I'll go back to the center again and go plus 10, enter, and razor that. Then I'm going to take this light rays and I'm going to drag it on top of this right there. Now, double click on that clip to open it up into the viewer, go into the filters, and I'm going to go to the head of that clip, the first frame, and I'm going to mark a keyframe under amount, center, glow, expansion mix. I don't know which one of these causes all this stuff, so I'm just going to play around here. And I know that I want this to be the final effect, so I'm going to go to my last frame, and I mark my keyframes there as well, and then go back to the first keyframe. I'm going to knock the amount down. Yeah, that's something I want to do. And the center, you know, I want the center, I kind of want this to wipe across the screen. So I'm going to take the center of this, I'm going to move it over here. And the glow, does that go down? Yeah, there we go. So glow, let's knock this down to one. I have to know that we need to put this on one because if you put it on zero, it makes it absolute black. And let's knock this down to zero. So this frame looks normal. Yep, seems to match everything else. And then it seems to brightly wipe across. Very cool. So I've got the first half of my transition going from nothing to very bright. So then I want to take this next clip and go from very bright down to nothing. So I take the same plugin, drop it on there, double click on this to load it to the viewer. And I'm going to go to the first frame and mark all my keyframes because I know that that's the exact one I want. Actually, I don't think I need those two. I just needed the glow center and amount. And I go to my last frame, mark my keyframes again. And this time I'm going to put the amount down to zero, put my center all the way over there, and make the glow down to one. And then we're going to render this. Let's see what this looks like. That was pretty cool. I really like that. Zoom. So this is how you make a filter into a transition. Okay, thank you very much for taking your time to watch this quick tutorial. Now get back to work.